Here we have the new DCN701, which is the DeWalt 20 volt cable stapler. Um, I actually won this in a giveaway by Bill at, at Sparky Channel. Um, so thanks a lot, Bill, for this opportunity and to win this. My daughter was actually in the pediatric ICU in Dallas at Children's. And um, so yeah, it was just a, a, a great thing to win this while we were there. And uh, she's doing a whole lot better. And so when we got home, this was waiting for me in the mailbox. So yeah, just super stoked to get this. And now I have the opportunity to try it out because we are at a volunteer build here, which is actually a classroom. That large room in there will be the teaching area. And then we've got a couple of offices, bathroom, little kitchenette. Um, and so we've roughed in all the electrical and plumbing. And actually, all of this got done before we went in uh, to the hospital. So the staples uh, have already been placed. But that's kind of what I wanted to point out really quickly. These are the staples that I've typically always used. Um, I started with these, these metal ones, which I think there's a few around here because we ran out of those white ones. And uh, these metal ones are what you'll find in most electricians' toolbox because they're cheap and, you know, they do what they're supposed to do. Um, nothing wrong with them until you hand them to a volunteer. And a volunteer likes to smash them into the wood until the cable gets buried and, and or, you know, short-circuited. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've run across a cable that has just been smashed to pieces because of a hammer happy volunteer was like I'm gonna bury this sucker so these white ones do a good job because they have two nails that you know bridge across or are bridged across by this white piece of plastic and uh, it prevents a volunteer from over driving it so I like using those just because they're volunteer friendly but still uh, they just have a hard time driving them in because it's not a single piece of metal, like a metal staple. They'll drive in one nail, you know, on one side and then the other nail, they might stick it in crooked uh, or they might smash it, you know, and kind of bend the other nail head. I, I've just seen them have trouble and struggle with this type of nail. So along comes the DeWalt DCN701. And that is just really great. It has an automatic feature to it that if I depress it and there's nothing there, nothing's going to happen. It has to be on top of a cable, have that middle tongue depressed before it will fire. And it does not, on a single cable, um, pull them really tight. It leaves them pretty loose, uh, which is not a bad thing in my book. Uh, the NEC does not want you to restrict the movement of the cable so far that it, it cannot go up or down or move around. It needs to have some movement. Uh, I mean, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, if you're doing a remodel, they don't even require that the cable is stapled down because you're doing a remodel. But on new construction, they want it stapled down. Um, for me, that makes sense because you got to do insulation around, you're going to have plumbing, you know, you're going to have guys going in between studs and they don't want you to rip out wiring or, you know, guys to get their tools stuck on it. But in reality, uh, you don't need a super tight cable up against your stud. That's, uh, you know, the point isn't to restrict the movement of it so much as to keep it safe from just people working around it. So you want to keep it in the center of your stud, you want to keep it away from the face of the stud so that when drywallers come in and start screwing in and, you know, say they miss the stud, they're not going to puncture the cable. So that's, you know, the other thing you're going to be watching out for and explaining to volunteers. Uh, this thing does a good job of, they can just stick it on there and they can move it around and fire it in and they're good and you don't have to worry about them accidentally puncturing the cable. Now where it could become a problem is on a two cable, uh, you know, where you've got two cables running up, or like over here, I've got more than two cables. I've got whatever, two, four, six, seven, seven cables. And so this thing can handle 
Uh, and that's another thing I really like, because you see here, I've got a three quarter inch cable stable, and I've got a half inch right here. I can't use the half inch on the 12.3 because it's too small, so I've got to jump up to a three quarter. This thing takes all of that out because this thing will, will do a half inch all the way up to two 12.3s, or even a, a ten, one 10.3, I believe. Um, so I can do 12.3s with this, and you just have to make sure, and that's the other thing, is I'm trying to do this with one hand, but when you depress two cables together, you don't want to get one of them off to the side depressed so you fire the cable staple through the other one. So that is something that when you're doing two, you got to make sure that you're over both of them. Not just one of them or else you're going to stick a staple through the one underneath. Um, yeah, so we got all these wires going around here and this tool will make the job a whole lot easier to staple on. So that's great. I mean, that takes no time. My volunteers are going to be super happy. And they're going to enjoy it. And that, that is a tool worth having to me when it makes the job less difficult, more fun, and it does its job well. Uh, something else that I wanted to point out was that, you know, we've got PEX here, and I was like, huh, I wonder if we can staple up PEX without damaging it. Say I need to roll, roll out a long roll up in an attic or whatever, and I want to hold it in place. A lot of times I use tools or something else to kind of temporarily hold on to it, but it can be kind of a pain in the butt to use because it has, you know, memory, and so it wants to re-roll itself up. Well, this thing... We'll actually hold it, which is cool. Um, it does a good job, and I'm gonna see if you can see it. You probably can't, but there's no damage to the pecs. There's no marking, there's no marring, there's no crushing of the pecs. Uh, so even this big you know, half-inch piece, uh, it's not hurting it. So if I wanted to run a length of pecs just temporarily, and then come back with proper pipe clamps, I could do that. Uh, and it does a good job of holding on to it. I'm pulling pretty hard there, and uh, yeah, you can see it, it takes a little bit of force to remove these. They're not impossible to remove, but that purple adhesive that they've got on the end of these staples actually does a good job, even when it's only a little bit embedded, and like that one only went in uh, maybe a quarter of an inch. It does a good job of holding. Now the max that I found, the diameter, that this thing can handle is three quarters of an inch. This is a three quarter inch dowel, uh, poplar, I believe, and that is precisely the diameter of these staples. So staples can hold three quarters of an inch. So yeah, I'll let you use your imagination as far as what this thing could be used for besides your typical Romex. Um, I find that with long runs of things, I love to temporarily tack stuff in place so that you know I can do what I need to do at the end, get it exactly where I want it, or just to see if something will reach, or you know whatever, just to get stuff into place and then come back and do it all at once. It saves me time when I'm working by myself, which I find you know is happening more and more because <clears throat> it's hot and volunteers are usually coming from northern climates, and so they start to drop off when Texas starts getting into July, August. But that's a whole nother topic. So let's shoot a couple more staples in. Like I said, I'm doing this one-handed here, and uh, trying to record it at the same time. And yeah, I mean, it just does a good job. And put a ton of staples in that line, probably don't need to put any more. Uh, as far as it fitting into places, let's see. Uh, I already know it could fit in here because I fired a staple in here, but it just goes to prove that this thing is pretty short because this is your standard 16 inch on center stud spacing, so 14 and a half inches in between. And uh, that's maybe eight at most, I'm not sure. But this thing fits in between it, which is great. Uh, there's another spot over here that I wasn't certain I could fit a staple in, but I was able to. It's a little bit smaller. It's like seven inches. <clears throat> and so this thing does not fit into that stud space. 
but I was still able to get a, a staple on, even though it was a little bit sideways. I'll stick another one. Oh, now it's, there you go. So we just now stuck two staples, same spot. Um, and yeah, it can fit there. And it's not going to crush the cable or anything and I'll hold it in place. So, yeah. Just because I can. That's cool. I like that. Um, now I guess I'm going to probably wind up using this thing to put up Christmas lights outside. <laughs> no, actually probably not. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I mean like on a job site, sometimes I'll suspend uh, an electrical cord for my trailer. I'll suspend it from a ceiling or joist. And this thing would be great for just temporarily tacking up. I just come back, pull on it, you know, remove the little staples out of the out of the wood, and good to go. So yeah, uh, I would seriously consider investing in one of these if you're doing this all the time, or if you have apprentices that are doing this, and really you want the apprentices to be doing something more important than just tacking cables onto wood. Well, hand them this gun; they'll get the job done really fast, and they can get on to learning the more important stuff of the trade uh, definitely or hand it to your 10 year old son you know take him on your job site be like here you go you go staple all the uh, all the cables down and uh, he'll have fun doing it and the job will get done and he doesn't have to have good hammer skills so yeah this uh, definitely is a good tool you just have to be aware that its limitations would be that it can't do um, beyond, as far as I remember, it can't do beyond one 10-3. Uh, it can't do two 10-3s stacked on top of each other, but it can handle everything underneath, so two 12-3s all the way down. Um, and as far as it holding the cable securely to the 2x4, it doesn't do that really well on a you know 14-gauge or 12-gauge Romex uh, when there's only one of them. Uh, so you'd have to use more staples, but you can still do a nice clean job with these um, staples. You might just wind up using, you know, five staples instead of using three uh, if you're driving it in with this cordless tool. So yeah, I hope that gives you a little bit of an overview and helps you make a decision whether this is going to be worth it for you to buy or not.